After due consideration, the Wyalusing Township Board of Supervisors partially grants the application of Glen O'Hawbaker Inc. for a conditional use permit under the Wyalusing Township Zoning Ordinance to operate an asphalt plant and associated contractor yard in accordance with the plan submitted with the application. The application for a conditional use permit to operate the fluids management drill mud production operation and the groundwater frack water treatment facility is denied. This approval for the asphalt plant and contractor's yard is conditioned upon the applicant complying with all of the following conditions. Applicant shall comply with all of the proposed details as submitted by the applicant and testified to by the applicant at the hearing thereon on December 1, 2010 and February 10, 2011, as, except as said details are modified by this decision. Two, the noise associated with the use of the premises shall comply with the provisions of the Wyalusing Township Zoning Ordinance contained in Section 11.10.6, under which the state noise level shall not exceed 65 dBA measured at the boundaries of the parcel of land occupied by the use. Applicants shall be subject to ongoing noise monitoring by the township to determine continued compliance with the requirements of the zoning ordinance requiring the noise limit not to exceed 65 dBA. If the applicant is unable to comply with the noise limits of the zoning ordinance and unable to remedy the noise level, this permit shall be revoked. Three, the applicant shall enclose the plant site with an eight-foot high chain link fence. Four, the applicant shall provide for off-street lighting as required by Section 11.10.8 of the Wyalusing Township Zoning Ordinance, and the applicant shall provide the specifications of the proposed lighting and its arrangement on the site as required by 11.10.8. All lighting shall be directed downward or into the center of the site. Five, the applicant shall provide the Board of Supervisors of the Township written notification of any reportable incidents including but not limited to spills, possible groundwater contamination, <coughs> air quality emissions, etc., which report shall be made within 24 hours of the incident. Six, the Board of Supervisors of the Township and its authorized representative shall have an open door to visit the premises for inspection purposes during normal operating hours. Additionally, the applicant shall cooperate with the Township in establishing an annual inspection to assure that requirements of this permit are being met. Seven, the applicant shall obtain all required permits from local, state, and federal agencies, provide copies of state to the township, and remain in continuous compliance with said permit. The Board of Sup Supervisors of the township shall be notified within 24 hours of any violation of any local, state, or federal permit by the applicant. Should a permit violation occur or should there be a failure to notify, the Board of Supervisors shall be entitled to revoke this permit. Eight, the applicant shall provide to the township a, a, hours of operation, B, an emergency management plan that identifies the steps to be taken in the event of an emergency at the plant site, C, procedures employed to contain any dust generated through the general operation of the plant, D, names and contact information for all persons responsible for plant management and emergencies. Nine, no waste materials shall be burned at the plant site, parentheses, i.e., burn barrels, piles, etc., in parentheses. However, applicants shall be permitted to burn waste oil for purposes associated with the manufacturing of asphalt conditioned upon being in compliance with all applicable regulations. Ten, the applicant shall establish and post a speed limit of 15 miles per hour on the access road from Route 6 to the plant site. Eleven, all of the applicant's diesel trucks shall employ devices to restrict idling to 10 minutes or less. Twelve, an appropriate area of the site shall be designated for trucks waiting to load or unload. Trucks shall be prohibited from waiting in line on the access road from Route 6 to the plant site. Thirteen, the applicant shall utilize best practices of the industry and strive to be a positive model for the asphalt industry and Wyalusing Township. Fourteen, the applicant shall be prohibited from using loudspeakers or outdoor amplification systems except for those that may be employed for emergency use only. Fifteen, the applicant shall use appropriate groundskeeping practices to ensure that the property reflects the general characteristics of the community. Sixteen, dumpsters employed for waste materials shall be located on a concrete or asphalt pad and screened from the view of anyone visiting the site. Seventeen, on-site maintenance of trucks and other vehicles shall be prohibited unless the maintenance is performed in an enclosed building. Eighteen, the applicant shall cooperate with local emergency services to provide familiarity with the plant site property and procedures to follow in the event of an emergency. Nineteen, the applicant shall provide an entrance gate which shall be closed and locked at all times when the plant site is unattended. 
20, upon the termination of the use of the premises for natural resource processing in a contractor's yard, the site shall be restored to at least its original condition, if not to an improved condition. 21, applicant shall not permit the discharge of any substance other than storm water into the Susquehanna River. 22, the applicant shall notify township personnel when applicant believes it has complied with all of the conditions of this decision. The township personnel shall be permitted to inspect the premises to determine if there has been complete and satisfactory compliance. Applicant shall not be permitted to begin operations until the final inspection has been completed by township personnel. 93, or 93, it feels like 93. 23, any modifications, expansions, or additions to the site shall comply with section 9.1 of the White Wisconsin Zoning Ordinance. 24, the conditions contained in this decision are of an ongoing nature. Applicant is required to comply with all of these conditions on a continuing basis. 25, applicant shall be liable and responsible for the payment of any and all expenses, including but not limited to legal fees and costs associated with any enforcement action that is required in the event of a violation of this decision. 26, if the applicant fails to comply with any of the conditions contained herein, why listing township may cause the zoning permit to be revoked. Board of Supervisors, Board of Chair, and the Senate of the WL, attached by my team. <coughs> That's the uh, proposed decision that we have before us. Any further uh, discussion by the supervisors? I think we've discussed it quite a while. If there uh, is no, <coughs> no further discussion, uh, is there a motion then to approve this uh, uh, decision as, as proposed? I make a motion to approve the decision as presented. We have a motion and a second to approve uh, this decision as presented here tonight. All those in favor say aye. 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 The uh, motion is carried and the decision is approved as, as presented.